showing you a tutorial on how I get my heatless curls and I don't even remember the last time when I used a, a curling iron that's just how great these curls look so whenever my hair is curled that you've seen it's always been heatless curls so I cannot wait to show you guys how I do this I'd spent hours on YouTube looking for like a heatless curls tutorial but all of them ended up being like Shirley Temple spiral curls and my hair is pretty long but it made my hair like really short so I was getting really frustrated until I finally found one video using these curlers right here but I put my own personal twist on it so for this method, all you will need is the goodie spiral it out hair curlers and a little spray bottle. I think I got this for like a dollar at Target. Now this curler pack comes with blue ones and purple ones, and the blue ones are a lot smaller, so I don't use these at all. I use the purple ones. But the purple ones are actually pretty small as well, if you look at how small they are. I twist two of them together to make them a lot thicker, because this is going to make your curls bigger, like so they're not so like... What's the word? Like spirally Shirley Temple curls. That is not what I'm trying to go for. So I make my big waves that I normally have in my hair. Like if you look at Instagram or past previous videos where my hair is curled, it's always with these things. So just take two purple ones and just start twisting them together like this. Just like a licorice or something. That's what it's going to look like. I'm just going to split my hair in half. And I only use two on each side, so I because I have four. But I mean, you can also twist up the blue ones if you want, if you want to use more. But my hair is kind of thin, so I only have to use two. So I mean, it really just depends on how much hair you have. So I'm just going to split my hair right about at the crown, right here. So I have about equal amounts of hair. And then just taking my spray bottle, I'm just going to lightly mist my hair a little bit. And the more you wet your hair, the curlier your hair is probably going to turn out, as long as you let it dry. And that's another thing, do not do this with your hair. If your hair is wet from the shower, don't attempt this. Because when you wake up in the morning, your hair is going to look like Shirley Temple. This literally has to be like dry hair and just spritz it with the water. So I'm going to take my curler, wrap, put it behind my head, and just wrap it around away from my face. Because that's how I want the curl to set and then just clamp the top part here and then just clamp the bottom to keep the curl in place I'm just wrapping it around the curler as if it were like a curling iron and then it's just gonna stay like that but with the front piece I kind of try to bring the hair towards like the top of my head so the front piece right here doesn't look all weird it's gonna fall in the curl a lot nicer that way Okay, and that's all you have to do. And normally I would just go to bed with this in and then just wake up in the morning and take them out so I can just, you know, rush to work. But since it's daytime, I'm just going to let these sit for a few hours and then I'm going to come back. <laughs> okay, now that it's been a few hours, I'm going to take these out and see what they look like. Normally I would sleep in them, but I mean, if you don't want to keep these in for a long period of time, maybe you could do these during the day and just um, like get like blow dryer and put it on cold or something. I don't know. You try that to speed up the drying process. Now just zhuzh up the top, give it a little bit more volume again, bring it back to life. Look at all the nice curls that it makes. And that's it. It's just so simple, guys. Like, I seriously love this soft curl look. And plus, you could make it curlier if you wanted. Just, like, make your hair wetter and let them sit longer. But, I mean, you really don't need a curling iron anymore. It's that simple. I definitely think that these curlers played a huge role in helping me grow up my hair out. Because I 
don't put any heat on my hair like really ever anymore. And plus this way, since the curls are softer and not as like tight Shirley Temple curls, your hair gets to keep its like length so your hair doesn't just go short. You know what I mean? I hate it when curls do that. Just experiment, try things out, see what works best for your hair and for you, like how wet you have to get your hair, how many curlers you need, stuff like that. And once you find that perfect like balance of what you need, your hair is going to look amazing. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. My giveaway is still going on. It's about to end in a few days. I'll have that link down below for you guys if you want to check it out and enter last minute. But I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. The Bird Machine. Check.